back to my ledger form which I've left open I have access to my Seahorse calendar so I address the second piece of information let's go ahead and talk about chart of account now well as you see these are existing chart of accounts that do exist uh, system-wide and uh, these chart of accounts can be accessed via a form under uh, chart of accounts and as you notice these chart of accounts are already listed uh, unlike previous version of uh, Dynamics AX 2012 such as 6.0 and 6.1 and you don't see the account structure in this form anymore R2 has moved it and placed it on a ledger form but you see that there are different types of for example a chart of account created for many different reasons perhaps for different countries for different reasons like sharing it or having it a standard one uh, and anyhow you have all these information here uh, you could use an existing chart of account for this uh, newly created company as you do this then you can have access to all the main accounts available by the way whenever for the first time you select uh, this specific form and you complete it uh, this message appears it says that fiscal calendar has been updated of course that was the first time I did that and it says that we recommend that you, you should run the recalculate ledger period process which is this button right here this message I don't think should be uh, appeared for the very first time when you set up the legal entity because you don't have any transaction and it's not necessary to run this but anytime you do have a transaction and you change the calendar and period and since the period might be different it's necessary to run this process because you need to reorganize and recalculate all the balances for all the accounts anyhow you can click close and as you see the main accounts that are coming from this chart of account are now available I'm not going to set them up I just wanted to show you that what's going to happen here if I actually now save this but I leave it open if I save it and minimize it I can go back to the main account and you notice now all those main accounts are available and these main accounts are coming from a chart of account called shared and as a matter of fact the new main account is also available here I can create new main accounts under the shared but I have the capability to create my own chart of account as well so let's go ahead and create our own chart of account here I click new and I call it seahorse you could have a mask and only allow a particular characters to be available on the new main account but I can create a new main account from here on my newly created uh, chart of account don't forget to maximize each form when you open them up for the first time I start with like having 10,000 for the sake of discussion and I call it like bank and I create another one uh, 10,001 call it capital stock let's say that means I bring money from there I bought some shares if I save these two and click close these two accounts are available so that's part of a seahorse I click close for a second I switch back to my ledger if you notice I've already set this up to be uh, using the chart of account called shared but I have the capability to change it why because I have not posted any transaction as soon as I post transaction you have no control over changing this anymore notice that I don't have any account structure so if you didn't have account structure you can start adding more accounts but you won't be able to post any transaction same for seahorse I can have a main account in there but I won't be able to post any transaction or use any journal entry I, I'm about to show you that as well so if I minimize this go back to the main account and instead of having all those accounts you can see actually the only two accounts that I have yet you can create a new main account from here as well like for the sake of discussion you could start uh, adding uh, additional values in there which I'm not about to do right now but you could do lots of stuff here you can create it from a template which of course suggests some of these properties for you uh, another thing that you could do here is using the translation because different personnel work with different languages so therefore by adding a new language which is uh, working as a label and is available in a database now you could actually have a completely different text for that specific text uh, that is related to this uh, main account uh, the translation engine is available in many forms in AX so you could take advantage of it we entirely discussed that in supply chain so I do have a main account here and if I switch back to uh, the ledger as you notice that I could freely change this as long as I don't have any transaction posted I already have a fiscal calendar if I click on a ledger calendar you notice that out of all those calendars that were already available only shows the one that I've picked so if I select year 2013 so if I scroll to the right uh, you do have a period status which is open that means you can post to it if you put it on hold then you cannot post transaction against it and when you put it on hold you can actually open it if you like 
but when you do it close then you won't be able to actually uh, open it up after that so closing the physical period is not allowed as you see because the previous period is not closed uh, you cannot just reopen a closed period uh, at all part of the operation and basically what you do you just put it on hold and nobody would be able to post against it however if you would like to just put it on hold for maintenance you can also specify who would be able to post it like everybody or nobody or a specific user group that can be able to post against that specific let's say uh, period so in case that you have a closing one of the procedures that you learn later on perhaps is year-end closing procedure you have to open the year-end closing in order to be able to move it to an opening period of the next year so let's switch back here minimize this uh, first of all let's take a look at the currencies here uh, we discussed the currencies uh, as a review we talked about the symbols we talked about the conversion you could do rounding general rounding is about changing the rates between two different currencies of course you could just have like sent here as a general rounding you could do it differently for sales order you could do it differently for purchase orders and you could do it differently for the prices uh, the prices sales order and purchase orders are being discussed in supply chain training courses uh, you could have a normal rounding you could do always downward you could do always round up it's completely up to you how you would like to do it for Spanish speaking countries you might have a currency that uh, has different gender but in majority of other countries this is irrelevant it's just available for Spanish speaking countries so if I remind you about uh, currencies we also mentioned uh, euro and I did talk about a, a specific information called uh, triangulation so this triangulation is available already part of euro you cannot have multiple triangulation currencies you see Danish crown cannot be set because euro is already selected so therefore you have to have only one 